what we're going to do here today is we're going to try to uh, work on our driveway a little bit and see if I can put some of the crown back in the road. I'll have some uh, pictures to explain what that actually is later in the video. But right now we got to get this rake set up. A lot of people use a, uh, a box drag or a land plane or a, a blade for this. I find this rake works really good for gravel driveways. Really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the dirt and the gravel that's been pushed to the outside all winter with me plowing and with us coming in and out and driving the same tire tracks. We're gonna try to pull it back into the middle of the road and reestablish the crown. That will let the water run off the road and down the ditches instead of running down the hill and causing erosion. So the first thing we're gonna do is decide which way we're gonna take the gravel and I think I'm gonna take it this way so we're gonna angle it that side and then we're gonna use this adjustment over here to give it a little bit of a twist what I've done here is I've lowered this rake down so that it's close to the ground as you can see it's almost level at this point all the way across what I want to do is I want to push down further on the outside to bring the gravel towards the middle, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lowering this side, actually raising this side to tilt it a little bit like that, and that will bring more of our material towards the middle. And you do that with this adjustment right here. I already loosened that up ahead of time. take some of the pressure off from it. All right. Let's see which way things are going here. I wanted to go up with that, so. It doesn't take all that much. try that ideally what they want is a half an inch well this is what people go by okay a half an inch crown in every foot of road so if your roads 20 feet wide you'd want a five inch crown if that makes any sense from one from the center to the outside I don't usually put that much I think probably three is enough People that have gravel driveways know what a struggle it can be to maintain them. It seems you're always dealing with washouts of one type or another. But uh, really, restoring the crown in the road is the best thing you can do. You have to put it back, in my case, probably twice a year, once in the spring and then again halfway through the summer. And that, that seems to be enough to get us through the year. One way of looking at it, if you think about what the stereotypical dirt road looks like, you're basically talking like a two track. You have two lanes where the tires go and then a high spot in the middle. But what that really is, is an opportunity for erosion because the water is going to try to run down those two tire tracks. It's going to take the path of least resistance out of the road and it's going to end up taking most of your driveway with it.
So as you can see, I'm pulling the extra gravel from the outside of the road towards the middle. Once I get it to the middle, I'm going to flatten the center off so that it becomes, there's no big ridge in the middle. And that'll give us a nice shaped driveway again that should let the water run off. In between the times where I rake it, another good, another good thing to do is never really drive in the same tire tracks. Always set over at least one tire width. That'll help pack it down evenly and not beat it right down in the two tire tracks that you would normally think of when you think about a dirt road. Please like and subscribe and come back to Whiskey and Sunshine Off-Grid. Maybe we'll have some more tractor tips for you.